think Bob's the double again this year. More chance than you do of winning the bet. Most houses have at least one sports fanatic and the Kelly household is no exception. Jim Kelly is football crazy and his dad is a keen fan too. Let's have a look at the teletext and see if there's any results in yet. However, as it turns out, dad's better at watching football than playing and that's unfortunate for Jim. In a moment of madness with his friend Donal, Jim made a bet on his father's skill on the playing field. While Jim worries about his father's matchday fitness, his mother tries to keep his mind on his school project without a great deal of success. I've got a great idea. I could help Dad get fitter. Watch out for tips on reading football tables, finding your way around a contents page, and when to use capital letters, as well as the regular spelling tip. Those tips are also in the Read Right Now workbook which supports this series. It's available free from the National Adult Literacy Agency. Just call 1800 20 20 65. But before we join the Kelly family, we're off to Dunlera to meet Patsy McGovern. Patsy works as a tutor in computer skills at her local adult education centre, where only a few years ago she took advantage of the literacy classes on offer there. She's come a long way from the days when, as a child, she struggled to learn to read and write. I was ill all the time, so I missed out on a lot of school. I'd go be off for about six months of every year. I couldn't keep up with the class um, when they were doing English or Irish or maths. I had lost out in so much that they hadn't got the time to go back in the stuff with me. So by degrees, I was dropping down all the time. I was very depressed about it. I'm wishing that I could catch up with everybody else. A lot of people knew that I was having the difficulties, but I think at the time there wasn't the help there to do anything about it. You start kind of crying and getting upset and then you were called a crybaby and you spend your time when they're reading out a story, which line they were going to ask you and hope to God that you knew how to continue on. You spent a lot of time worrying about what, what page you were going to be asked to be reading. Usually it would be when you've done essays and things like that and you spend a week worrying about it and just couldn't do it in the end. Maybe get two lines and you end up crying and wishing you could do it and wishing you were getting 10 out of 10 like everybody else and getting stars. I left school when I was 15, but that was due to my mother's debt, so being the eldest I had to go out and earn some money. So I worked in a bookie's because I was quite good at maths at that stage, so I was able to keep going with the maths. Anything to do with writing, then I was lost. Then after I had my children, I took up clean jobs because I couldn't work in an office or anything like that. I knew always that I could do better if I'd just given, been given the chance. But with the children being young, I didn't have that. Money had to come in, and you know, so that's why I was cleaning form filling or jobs that you had to do, fill in forms you just didn't bother going for. You just tried to stay away from them. To write letters was the, my downfall all the time because to me my letter looked all right but as I've learned later on in years it must have been impossible to read. You know because I didn't put in the ends of the words and I spent maybe two hours looking up a dictionary to try and find the, the certain word I, that I wanted to use. You know, but then phones came in, and that, that was absolutely brilliant. You know, but there's always a way around these things when people can't read and write. You have other excuses you can use, or other ways around things. A good one is you left your glasses behind. I can't do this without my glasses, or I've just hurt my arm. Most of us that had that problem are very good at involved in the situation. It's always somebody better able to spell, so you just use them. My dad still plays football every Tuesday over in the park with his mates. Yeah, my dad plays there too. My dad's really good though. In fact, he's probably the best down there. Bet he isn't. Bet my dad's the best player. No way. Bet he is. Bet you my dad's better than yours. What are you betting? My collection of footy mags. Nah, damn me, I've got her own collection. Bigger than yours, I bet. What else have you got? 
That'll do. No, well, bet your PlayStation game is dead. My PlayStation's off to wait till the summer. Let me see the knife again. Shake, and we'll see it next Saturday's friendly. What are you betting? My mag life. It's much better than some Swiss Army knife. Okay, I suppose. Ah. You only got a footy. No, I wouldn't say that. Let me see a good footballer. Your man Roy Keane now, he's good. Yeah, he's cool. Of course, I always enjoy myself. Let's have a look at the teletext and see if there's any results in here. Look at that, Dad. That's great. We should try and catch their next match. Do you know when it is? Next week. That's great. This teletext is marvellous. Don't know what we did before. Teletext is a vital part of any sports fan's life. Every page is packed with information. Each TV channel has its own version of teletext, but the layout tends to be the same for all. On this page, you'll see that the top line tells you that you're using RTE's Airtel system. 272 is the number of the page, and the date is shortened to TUE for Tuesday and AUG for August. The time is given in hours, minutes and seconds using the 24-hour clock. Now, if, like many people, you find the 24-hour clock a bit difficult, here's a tip to convert it to evening time. Just take the 12 away from the 18 to give you 6. This means that the time is 6.37pm, 6.37 in the evening. This page lists international fixtures as well as games in the Aircom League. The games are listed according to the dates they'll be played on and also by league division. So you'll see that Friday the 17th of August in the Premier Division, Galway United played Bray Wanderers. Now, just as the word versus is shortened or abbreviated to one letter, V, Wanderers is also shortened to just four letters, W-D-R-S. When you're abbreviating a word like this, the correct thing to do is to put a full stop after it, although you will come across examples like this where there's no full stop. Unlike the top line of this page where the time is shown using the 24-hour clock, the times of the matches are shown using the more usual AM for morning and PM for evening system. Although PM isn't written beside the time here, we can be pretty certain that the match will be played at 7.45 in the evening. Unlikely that it would be played at 7.45 in the morning. Teletext contains a great deal more than just sports information and it's a great way to practice your reading skills. Why not have a look at the news headlines, the travel or the entertainment sections the next time you're using teletext? Mom, I'm going out to the park to watch Dad play football. OK, come straight back. Yes, Mom. Now, where is my dad? Ah, there he is, about to shoot. Come on, Da! Yes! Well done, Da. I wonder who that really bad player is. Looks like Jim's Da. It is Jim's Da. Let's see, which one's da? There's some that looks likely. Ah, oh, that's probably Donald's da. Oh, tell me that's not da. Oh, no. It is. Oh, no. Balls will win the double again this year. More chance than you do of winning the bet. My dad was definitely the best on the field last night. 
Yeah, but my dad's really good under pressure. Oh well, we'll see you on Saturday. Like many sports fans, Jim and Donal keep up to date by reading magazines. The place to start with any magazine or book is the contents page. This is where you'll find a list of everything in the magazine. This contents page, for example, lists all the feature articles together. Feature articles are pieces which change from one week to the next. This magazine lists the page numbers along the left-hand side and the title of the article in bold lettering with a short description of the article underneath. The simplest way to find something you're looking for in a hurry is to use your finger to scan down along the titles. Every magazine will organise its contents page in a different way. In this next example, the various sections of the magazine – regulars, world news, player profiles – are indicated by heavier type. If you've got the time, have a look at a couple of magazines and see how they do things differently.